And we are live. It's 105 Eastern Time in Montreal. Heather Boyd Wire here. And every week we do Wire Lady TV on YouTube live. So let me pull up the video. If you're hopping on, just say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. I'm going to pull up the video on my computer so I can see the chat. And uh, today we have a fun project. Actually, I'm just going to grab my iPad because um, Amanda in the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, made a beautiful piece with some inks that uh, I sent her as a prize. And so I'm going to show you that. And we're going to troubleshoot a design similar to what she made. So we have Clarice. Hi, Clarice. Hi, Ginger. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Robin. Awesome. So I'm just going to try to find the picture that... Amanda sent me a da, 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 messenger and hopefully she's gonna hop on the live stream. Hi Aisha, how are you? And I will show you because Amanda won a prize in the 10 day wire bracelet making challenge and her prize was the surprise prize. And, um, and so I know Amanda loves art so I sent her some uh, alcohol inks and she's been experimenting with them and I've been experimenting with them on my other art channel. So we have, hi Cheryl, hi Angel, and hi Norma. So if you guys don't already know, I have a new art channel called Heather Boyd Art. You can hop over if you wanna see all kinds of mixed media tutorials and things like that. I'm having a lot of fun on that channel for sure. And I'm just gonna show you the picture. Uh, I'll flip my screen and then we're gonna get started and I'll show you uh, what we're going to work on. So if you had seen on the other art channel, I've been doing all kinds of mixed media work. So here is the picture that Amanda sent me. There we go. So hi, Joanna. And hopefully you can see it. I don't know what the lighting's like. But so she had painted on a glass piece and embellished it with wire. And I thought that was super cool. And I asked her what she used for this. And this is like a tape, a craft tape. I thought it was washi tape, but washi tape doesn't stick enough. And so it's actually, hi Wendy, it's actually, I believe it's this. Amanda, if you're on the, on the live, let me know if this is the right tape. But this is Amanda's piece, and she, I'm just trying to find the similar tape to what she had, and this is what, uh, what I found. So I also don't know if Amanda put two sheets of glass together. I should have asked her before I hopped on the on the live, but hi Paula, hi Janet. And so I'm gonna try to do a similar thing to what Amanda did, and I'll show you what I painted last night. We're gonna just move this one over. So this is the one I painted last night, and I found painting with the alcohol inks on glass is very uh, tricky. Uh, hi Donna, you finally caught me awesome. You're not too late, we're just started. Hi Becca. And so, yeah, so I see that Amanda has probably done a bit of texture on this with some of the alcohol, but I found when I painted on the glass with the alcohol inks and I added alcohol, it got too transparent. So um, just to show you an example, these are the pieces I did on paper. This is Yupo paper. And so the colors are very vibrant and they, it, they seem to stick better on the paper than on the glass. The glass is really, really tricky. So these are the ones I did on paper. I also did some on little pieces of glass, which was a total fail. I washed them off. And then I tried some on a little piece like this. So this is like a cabochon with the alcohol inks. And it's okay. Um, it's not great because I find that the, the, the glass kind of like uh, the, the ink just washes off the glass, right? So this is the other side. It's kind of interesting. I'm gonna work on the idea uh, for painting with the alcohol inks on this. You probably would have to put some sealant on top to hold it in place, but it's definitely interesting. So if you guys are interested in the alcohol inks or any mixed media, hop over to my other uh, art channel for sure. So you set your alarm, that's awesome, cool. And we had daylight savings times here, so the, the times have changed. So let's go ahead and try to do something like Amanda did with hers. And um, I'm hoping she's going to hop on the, on the live as well. So here's the piece that I painted. And what I was thinking to do, because if you flip it over, this is how it looks on the opposite side. It's very smooth. It's interesting on both sides. And then this is the part that's 
the surface that I painted. So what I'm going to do now is get another pane of glass and try to attach them together. And I'm really troubleshooting here, guys. So we're hoping this is going to work. And what I want to do is do like a, um, possibly do a tree on top. I haven't decided yet. I was thinking to do the tree, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yeah, Wendy's rainbow penguins are so cute. If you guys are in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook, uh, Wendy makes the most beautiful, whimsical uh, mixed media pieces in a sense that she draws and then she puts the wire little figures on top and they're super, super cute. So that's cool. Uh, Julie's here. Hey gang, Heather is muted on my phone. Oh, that's strange. You should be able to push the sound button on the on the uh, computer it should be able to work give it a try so now let's put these two panes of glass together these are just four uh no five by seven inch panes of glass from the dollar store so i'm just going to put them together and that way it'll protect the alcohol inks otherwise they might get scratched so we're going to do that love wendy scenes yeah they're awesome so let's just go ahead and see what we can do with this tape and hopefully it's going to work and if for whatever reason it doesn't work, we might have to work on another project today. Of course, I'm going to have to figure out how to open this thing. So I'll just get my X-Acto knife and open it up and see what we're going to do. And Mustafa's here. Hey, Mustafa, how are you? We're just working on this uh, framed piece similar to one that um, Amanda did. She actually posted it in the group, in the in the Facebook group, so you could definitely see it there as well. If ever you're looking for something in the Facebook group, you can search too. You can search her name or you can search different keywords as well. So let's go ahead and this might be a little wide, but um, I'm going to do a smaller one later that I might trim the tape, but let's just see what we can do. So we're going to pull this. And I actually should check how she did her corners because I'm not quite sure if she just trimmed it or she did it like a corner thing because you could do like a little corner cut, but I'm not sure. She might have just put it straight on top. Where's Amanda when you need her? I need her uh, feedback on this. So we'll see. Hopefully she'll hop on. So here's the tape. It's just a craft tape. So I think what I'm going to do for the sake of doing it easily, I might just cut it and then trim it after. So I'll get some scissors. I'm just going to bring this here and perfect. Make sure we cut it enough. Okay. So if we just cut it here and the idea is you're going to put it maybe about quarter inch. Now it's going to be maybe tricky to actually get it straight. I don't want it too much though. So if we do about a quarter inch, I have a feeling she might have just done a single pane of glass. I'm not sure. So we're going to bring this over. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. There we go. Yeah, uh, Peggy, all is good. Everything's great uh, with Amanda. Uh, yeah, all, all is good with her. So that's perfect. Let's just bring this around. She'll probably hop on the call at some point. I DM'd her, so we're going to see if she's going to come. So, uh, yeah, so let's just bring this over here. Perfect. There we go. There, we're going to wrap that around. So it's a little wider at the back. And then, it, so we'll get an idea of how it looks on both sides. So it's a little wider at the back and then a little thinner at the front. But that's okay. So now we're just going to do that. And then we're going to have to figure out how we're going to trim that either with the scissors or otherwise. So now let's do this side. This might be a little bit of a lengthy process. So we're going to go here. Heather may be hitting 10,000 members on Facebook. Oh yeah, it's going to, yeah, we're, it's going to be soon. And that's not just me. That's uh, Clarice, um, Mia and Jennifer are all uh, moderators in the group. So it's, uh, and you guys all contribute to the group. So it's our group and uh, we're, we're doing, it's amazing how it's really grown. No, it's really, it's really fun. No, it just started out as a little fun group and it's grown to something much bigger than than I could have ever imagined. So let's just bring this and it's just hard to get it super straight, but we're just going to do our best to do this. So already it looks really interesting with this tape. This is super cool. There we go. So we're going to do that and then bring this around. And I didn't see other widths of this tape, but... Um, 
this seems to be a good width and you could probably trace it. It's really nice and it's sticking really, really well. So, but the thing is, how are we going to trim it? That's my, that's my uh, thing that I'm not quite sure how we're going to trim it. So let me, I don't want to cut through my cardstock. So let me just bring this over here. Perfect. And let's just try to trim this a little bit. So let me know if you've ever used this craft tape. It's definitely interesting. I'm just not sure. Maybe I should sharpen my X-Acto knife because um, there, I'll just cut the X-Acto knife a little bit. So uh, Nina says, just come for a quick hi. Hi, Nina. How are you? And we're just trying to do some kind of frame on this piece and we're going to add some wire to it. So I just am trying to very carefully trim the tape in a way that, yeah, that's not too bad. So we trimmed the tape there and now let's just keep going with it. We're going to get another piece and then later I'm going to do a small one that we could use for a pendant. So I got a C in design class. <laughs> yeah, well in high school, I was far from the best artist in my high school art class. I really, my art was terrible in high school. Growing up, my sister's art was always much better than mine, but I had passion and perse perseverance. And so that's why I ended up being a full-time artist. But, um, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's just, you know, passion and desire and, and just the love of art is really what all, all you need. You don't, uh, you know, and we don't have to judge each other's work. We just, just do what you love and, uh, your individually, individuality will, sh will shine through for sure. So now this is just a little bit tricky to get the right measurements of this. Hopefully it's even-ish. If it's a little off, it's okay. We're going to bring that one up there. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little narrow there, but that's okay. I think we're just going to go with it. We're going to do that. Flip it over, bring it around, and then flatten it. Perfect. I wish I had art in school. Yeah, we had art in high school. That was the, the one class that I really was passionate about. I also like math, uh, you know, believe it or not, which is a little strange, but I did like math and I liked art. Didn't like history, didn't like English. So everybody's got their own, their own things. So we're going to bring that in there, trim it. Make sure X-Acto is nice and sharp to be able to trim this. And then this one, and then I'll put one across the top. This is a little long, but You'll see it makes a really beautiful finish. And like I said, if you want to see how I did the tutorial for the inks, check out the other channel. And you could even use other kinds of paints uh, inside the frame as well. Because if you put two plates of glass together, it's going to protect your painting. So that's really, that's really cool. So let's just do this one. Languages was my thing. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I love math for sure. Yeah, I, I didn't do well with it at first, but then when I figured out the how-to of it, I was fine. I got tutoring and stuff, so then I was fine with it. I have to go walk my dog. Oh, give your doggie a big hug. That's awesome. Doggies are doggies are wonderful. We were, I was just talking about dogs with my husband this morning, and he said, you know, the reason dogs are so appealing is because they they have um, eyebrows, and they can make facial expressions with their eyebrows, and I thought that was a really cute observation so yeah doggies are sweet and they do like to look you in the eye uh, I have art sign and cooking oh sewing and cooking yes so I had uh, I had a cooking class home ec at the beginning of high school and then they kind of like phased that out but certainly in grade seven and eight we had cooking we had uh, metal work we had we had um, woodwork we had all kinds of things yeah we even had like an elective called bridge building which was we made bridges out of um, toothpicks so that was kind of fun so look guys this is looking really really cool and uh, I've got to leave meeting my have oh fun enjoy Julie that's awesome very nice so let's just cut this and we have to be careful not to cut not to cut the, the layer that's underneath it so that's the tricky part okay so we've got that one and then just flip this around and do this one. Yeah, you definitely want to take your time with this to make sure that you don't uh, mangle your corners. So we're going to bring this one around here. Perfect. And Joan's here. Hey, Joan, how are you? I love working with alcohol inks on ceramic tiles. Yes, I think that would be really nice too. 
uh, Joan, let me know with the alcohol inks. Um, I was having troubles with it on glass because I found it was getting very transparent. I found it works really, really well on Yupo paper, but I was having a little bit of difficulty with it on the glass. I just found, you know, anytime I would add any alcohol or anything to it, it would get like really, really thin and transparent. So let us know if you have any tips for the um, alcohol inks because um, I'm still experimenting. Like I'm no pro at all. I just got them a couple of weeks ago and I'm literally just like really experimenting with it. So, so any tips you have would be great. Here, let me just flip this one over and just get that one, the little edge. Perfect. And bring that here. Perfect. So that looks pretty good. It's not, I mean, there are some little scrappy edges. Maybe I could go in and fix those up a little bit. So we're just gonna do that one. Perfect. And there, this, so this tape is a kind of a craft tape from Michaels. It says Art Minds, Art Minds DIY Home Project Tape. So, and I got silver and gold. So it's a really cool tape and it sticks really well. Cause I, yeah, I thought I was going to use washi tape because I thought that's what Amanda said that she used on hers was washi tape, but no, it's more like a, like a craft uh, home decor tape. So that's really cool. So now you want to like really get these down here. And then I'm going to show you Amanda's picture again. So you guys can see what she had done. And then we're going to figure out how we want to attach the wires. So it looks like, Amanda, this is Amanda's piece. So she just did wires around the outside and then she did like a little dangling piece down there. So this is a really cool, cute idea. I was thinking to try to do a tree thing, but I haven't quite decided if I want to do it or not. But let's just start by actually just rigging it up in a way that you can hang it up. So is this see-through? So it's slightly transparent. There are like transparent areas to it so you could put it against a white wall or you could also put it against the windows so that's kind of cool uh, I've only seen non-metallic washi tape yeah and the tape washi tape peels off so I think this is a better bet because I realized that the washi I have seen metallic washi tape but it doesn't tend to stick as well as this craft tape so uh, so that's really good. Yeah, so no, it's it definitely is slightly transparent, Peggy. There's little areas that are more transparent than others. And so let me just find my... So I have this um, wire. This is the wire I won from Parawire on Wire Wednesdays they have on Instagram. And uh, it's a little soft. That's the only thing I find about the Parawire. But I think for our purposes, it's going to be good because um, I need something pretty pretty soft so there we go um what you don't know washi tape wendy yeah wendy tape uh, uh, washi tape is a um a scrapbooking thing a lot of people uh, use it for scrapbooking uh, you can get it at any craft store or uh, or scrapbooking store not that I, I don't even know if they have scrapbooking stores anymore so if we want to kind of make a frame on this we're going to need a decent size piece of wire uh, the other thing i was thinking to do like see Say I did do a tree on there. I could also maybe do a thicker wire for the frame and a different wire for that. So let me just see. You know what the, what I, the other thing I was thinking is I have some twisted wire. Let me just have a look and see if I can find it because I was sent some twisted wire from the, um, from the Beetle On Company a while back. So let me see if I have some gold. I don't know if I have, I have a little bit of gold. It's not super, it's not super thick though. Let me just see what it's like. I have copper, I have silver. I'm just gonna see what this, this wire is like and just to check it out. Uh, I got some to make a daughter's whiteboard. Yes, and I use washi tape in my, um, on my calendar. So if I have a, a, an appointment or something and I need to change it, I could just peel it off and put it somewhere else. So that's really cool. So yeah, so this is this is really interesting uh, wire. Actually, this twisted one that's really cool. And Rebecca saying dragonfly. So do you mean a dragonfly for 
to go on the frame because that would actually be really cool. I might actually save the tree idea to do on a smaller piece, but um, dragonfly on here could be really cool. Why don't we do that? I think that's gonna be easier. So let's go ahead and and uh, do this around the outside. Oh yes, dragonfly, okay. Okay, let's do the dragonfly. So I'm just gonna pull like a very big piece because I don't know how much I'm going to need. And we're going to wind this around and then we'll do uh, the dangling uh, dragonfly. I think that's gonna be a really good idea. So let me just get this, my cutters. Oh, there's my hair. Ooh, sorry guys. I don't know how my hair got on there. So uh, the twisted wire is really cool. Yeah, I really like the twisted wire. So let's go ahead and take these wires and see what I'm going to do because there's a few ways you can do it. I think we can just start by winding the corners a little bit and then see how we do with that because I don't want to cover up too much of it. But let's see if we if we go here, maybe the, it would be best to like crisscross behind. So if we go here and then maybe, but you don't want to cover it too much either. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this. Like if we go down here, I'm gonna try something different. Uh, we go around and I can always pull it back after and see. I mean, the idea is you just really want to it to be uh, solid and, and, and I could like maybe loosen these up after. So if I bring that here and bring that, yeah, I'm, I see why she did it sort of like centered like that because I think it's going to be a little bit more easy, easier to do. So let's just pull it back. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this back. I miss have, have the live stream. Can someone tell me what we're making? So yeah, so basically we are, I, I, made, I painted this piece on a frame and what we're doing is I surrounded it with uh, tape, craft tape, and we're trying to figure out a way to make an actual frame for it. So what we're going to do is bring this around and just, I'm going to just start by, I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to bring it around here. If we go around this way and see how it's going to work that way. And then around this way, just to start it. And then we, I think we can adjust it after. So we're just gonna go here and then down here. Okay, so if we start like just like a basic wrap, I don't think there's a top and a bottom. So if we just start with a basic wrap like this, I'll probably have to clean some finger fingertips off it uh, at some point. So if we we'll start like that and then here, Gonna make sure it's somewhat centered. You could measure it. You could definitely measure it um, if you want. And then this one, and then this, I really have a long, long, long wire that I'm not sure I need it to be that long. So if we just start like this, okay, we're gonna just start like that, bring this around. This piece is really, really long. So we're gonna bring that one around here. So what we've done is we've gone around like a corner to the front, back, front, back. And then if we just wind it around here a couple of times, okay, careful not to use wire that's too stiff, or you are going to snap the glass. So we're gonna bring it around here, and now we're gonna bring it, this was at the back, so now this is going to the front, okay? So we're gonna go here, perfect, there we go. So we're gonna go around here and now we're gonna to go to the back. So that was front, so we're gonna go back. Okay, so around here. So guys, let me know in the comments if you've tried any of the painting. I know Mustafa has tried uh, the watercolor and Becca, you did your watercolor leaf, which was really, really cool. I love that. So if you guys aren't already in the Discord group, you can join the Discord group. And uh, we do wire stuff there, but there's a whole new section for art. Uh, I think it's called Heather Boyd Art. So that's sort of like related to this channel. So you guys can definitely go into the Heather Boyd Art channel and you can... Um, uh, you know, follow follow the art things and stuff. So that's cool. So there we go. Perfect. So let's just do, let's just add a little hanging dragonfly. 
Yeah, and if you guys don't mind in the comments, let's try to keep off the topic of, of COVID and things like that. I th Let's just try to keep everything very upbeat, please. If you have any inspiration for, you know, art and art projects, if you have any suggestions for me with this design and stuff, that would be wonderful. Let's just keep this, let's just keep everything positive as much as we can. Okay, so now I am going to do like a little hanging dragonfly, but I need to make like a little loop to hang it on. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do little, little bit of a loop. Uh, can we use colored pencils? Well, you can, for this project, it's, it's so open-ended. You can, because you have two panes of glass, you can put um, paper... You can put uh, like a watercolor paper and do a painting on it. You could use paper. You could do a, a, a color pencil a drawing in between. You can put a photograph in between. There's all kinds of anything, any, any art or photograph you could put between um, these two panes of glass, and it would be amazing. So now let's just peek at, um, let's just peek at the, where is it? Yeah, so this is, um, Amanda did a light, a nice little spiral there. So I think that would be a good idea. We can just do like a little spiral and then we're going to hang, we can hang the um, dragon from fly from it after that. So let's just kind of do a free form thing a little bit like she did. I wish Amanda was on the call so she, or on the, uh, on the live stream so she can see what we're doing, but hopefully she'll see the, the replay. So Angelique, could you use fine sandpaper on the glass? The way the ink will be, I'm not sure. You'd have to experiment with that because, um, uh, and there probably are other tutorials on YouTube about how to use the alcohol inks. Honestly, I've just started, like I've really just started playing around with it. So it would be nice to see uh, other other uh, ways to do it. Because, And you'll see with the second one that I do, I'm actually gonna use uh, the pieces that I did on paper instead of doing using the pieces that I did with the with the um, right on the glass but it's not bad like it is there's quite a bit of transparency and stuff but it's not too bad this side is nice too like they're both this is the side that's the actual painted side but the other side is really nice too so now you want to do like a little loop at the top to hang it and we can do it, you could also do like a little double line there too, or maybe there's something else we could just do to fancy it up. So I'm going to just get this going here. Hey, Elman, how you doing? Welcome. So we're just going to do like a little, any kind of loop to hang it up at the top, but you do want it to be solid. So I would like wrap it around a little bit, just at least do one full turn here. So it stays really solid. Perfect. Uh, let's not cut right through. Perfect. And then what you can do, if you want to make this part a little more fancy, like this is solid, like this is gonna, this is definitely gonna stay in place. And what you can do from there is if you do want to make it a little more fancy and tighten it up, we can experiment with, this is what I do when I wrap stones, is I just take my pliers and I just go ahead and just like sort of a little flick of the wrist thing. So careful not to, to like um, break the glass, but you can just kind of like play around with it and just turn it. And I'm really like, actually, I really want to be careful not to break the glass. So I might actually do it by hand if that's going to be better. I just, I have to be very careful not to, not to scratch the glass. So I'm just seeing if it's going to be better to do it by hand. Like this makes like a, it's a little stiff that, a little stiff that turned. So maybe if I just kind of do it like that, I hope I don't break the wire. I just really want to play around with it and see, but I think, yeah, I don't know if I should have done that or not, but I'm going to just see what I can do to bend this. A picture frame used for a picture can't use the glass. Yes, but so now you can recuperate the glass. If you take a glass out of a picture frame for any reason, you can definitely recuperate it and, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing here with this, if this is successful, but this just gives you an idea of how it can look if you vary the lines on your wire. I think it's interesting. It's um, maybe I could have even done these wires looser so I could have had a little bit more give with it. Could be really interesting, but for now, I just wanna, the purpose of this, it, 
it makes it a little more interesting and it tightens up tightens it up a bit and now if you want to show these to go more to the side too you can push them out a little bit to put them like a little bit more to the side so this is just like seriously my first attempt at this i think there's other ways you can do it as well but this gives you an idea of how to do like a basic kind of um a basic kind of thing and then if you wanted to after you could add, like say you want to add more wire on there, you can definitely, like you could start with the basic uh, thing and then you can add more wires after. So I might go in and do that after. But now if you do want to do the dragonfly, let me just get the wire. Okay, so I'm going to cut a longer piece of wire for this. Okay, perfect. Yeah, wall decoration would be amazing. You need your flat note pliers. I could do it with the flat nose pliers, but I really don't want to scratch it. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I usually actually use these because they're round nose pliers, but they've got a large round nose, but I just don't want to scratch the wire and snap the uh, glass. So I think we're going to leave it like that for now. So now if you do want to do a dragonfly, I, I have a tutorial already on my channel for like the dragonfly. I think we did earrings in the 10 day earring making challenge. So that was cool. And yeah, for Christmas presents, this could be really good. And you could, like I said, you could put a photograph in there. You could put a painting with a photograph. That would be super cool. So to do the dragonfly, we're just gonna get that and then just do a little twist, okay? We're just gonna do, this is, this is like a nice simple way to do a dragonfly. Twist it as evenly as you can. The key to twisting it is you wanna hold those two edges out at an even angle. Um, I'm a little bit like tangled in my cords from my filming, but I'll just do the best I can. So we're gonna bring this around and around. And I wanna make it a decent size, but I don't wanna make it too big either. I don't wanna run out of wire either. So we're just gonna bend these out and then just up a little bit more. Yeah, it's a little awkward because of my positions, but it's okay. So there we go. So there's the tail of the dragonfly and perfect there we go excellent so we're going to do this and then for the wings we're just going to measure you know whatever length you want so maybe about that much i want to make sure i have enough wire to do the antenna so say we go about there and then what i do is i do this one and then down that way around and then this one too you want to measure it and go that way, perfect. And then to do the other wings, I just basically trace what's here and trace what's here, perfect. And then we're just going to do the other one. I don't know how even they are, but we're gonna see. Perfect. Uh, so I have to go to sleep. Oh, okay, so it's late. Okay, well, thanks for hopping on. It's true. Some places it's very late for sure. So now here's the um, the wings, the two wings on either side. And then basically you just want to twist this around to hold it in, in place. We're just going to bring that one up and then bring that one up. I forget how I did it. I think I did it like that. It was a while ago. Yep, so we're going to bring that one around here. And then usually what I would do was I would put a bead on there, which would be okay. I could put a bead. So let me just see what I have. Maybe one of my miracle beads would be really nice because uh, it would give it a little pop of color. So say I put like a little turquoise miracle bead on there. This one has a, vi a bit of a larger hole, so hopefully we'll be able to fit the two wires through. If not, we'll figure it out because uh, if, the, if the hole is large, for your bead, you can stick two wires in at once. And if not, it's no worries. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, if not, you could always twist it and then put the bead and then twist it again. So here's the bead on there and we're gonna push it right down and then just like get it right down there. So there's the dragonfly so far. Perfect. Okay, and we're gonna just separate the wings a little bit you could even make them 3D if they're going to, if it's going to be a, um, like just a, on the frame, it would be cool if you just curve them a bit and make them a little bit 3D. And then for the antenna, cut them about the same length. 
okay? Because you want them to be more or less even. And then I'm going to get the uh, cone and we're just going to bring it around and around like that. Perfect. And this one, we're going to bring it around and around and around. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. This is, uh, this is the, my preferred way of making uh, spirals. We're going to go around like that on the cone. And then we're just going to take the end and bring it around. Okay, perfect. Around here. And down and up. So there's one spiral. And I know I've had comments on my uh, dragonfly tutorial before that the dragonflies don't have antennas. And they actually do have tiny little antennas, but I just exaggerate them for the sake of art. You know, it doesn't, when you make art and, and design and things like that, they don't have to be accurate. And to me, it looks more balanced when it has antenna, and I just like the way it looks. So that's, you know, that's a call that you have to make. So there we go. Alberta. Oh, yes. So a fellow Canadian. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we actually had snow yesterday, but I think usually Alberta gets snow before us. But we had snow, not yesterday, but two days ago. And then to make it more interesting, you can take the tail and give it a little bit of a curve so that where it looks really cute great idea becca for the dragonfly and then if you push pull these apart they'll hold in place and so then you could just hang it on here i guess you'll have to have one dragonfly uh, one antenna at least that's a little bit back so it's gonna like hold in place so now let's just make a little quickie jump ring this is really not the best wire to make uh, jump rings with because it's super soft but because it's an ornament it's fine it's going to be okay Perfect. Whimsy compared to realism. Yes, definitely. You know, it's, a art, an, it's the artist's vision. Whatever they think looks, uh, looks right. So that's good. Dragonflies are good luck charms. So this is a beautiful thing to hang in your house. Awesome. And would make a great gift. And if you had trouble seeing how I made the dragonfly, check out the, um, the dragonfly earring tutorial on my channel. You can always search my channel to find specific uh, tutorials. So now we made a little jump ring. We're just gonna stick it on here. And I might actually, not now, but later, I might redo the frame because I'm not sure I'm loving those warbly lines, but I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to see. So we're gonna put the, we're just gonna close this one up. And we're just going to close that one up. And it looks so cute. So thank you so much to Amanda for the great idea to do a framed piece like this. I love the dragonfly. I think it's super cool. Um, these lines, I haven't decided. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you prefer these lines to be straight or if you like them to be a little bit like bent, you know, to give it a little more... The other thing would be cool would just be do like little spirals and stuff around there. That could be interesting too. Like say you did like, that might be really interesting actually just to do like little spirals around the outside. You can, look, we could even do add more wire. I still have more of this para wire. It was free. I can just play with it. So there we go. Yeah, the wobbly lines aren't bad, eh? Because they do kind of go with the splotches, I think I, I think I like it too, but let's see what happens if we add another wire just to make it a little more interesting. So how big do we want to make it? That's the question. I would make it at least uh, twice the size of, uh, uh, twice the side of the, the size of the sides. Okay, that's a tongue twister. So yeah, I'm gonna just cut a big long piece. So there we go. Now let's see what happens if we Hmm, if I take start it up here, I'm gonna go around here, and you can always remove it, eh? If you do something you don't like, you can always bring it back. Wobbly, yay, wobbly is the word of the day. Fantastic. So we're gonna bring this down, and then what if we just did some like chaos type uh, curvy lines? We can just see how that goes. Might or might not work, but I mean, to make the initial a uh, piece to like to to um how do you say it? so it's uh oof. so it's solid you might have to do like kind of at least one wire that's more taut but if you want to play around with it after and add more like kind of 
like spirally lines, this might be a possibility too. So we're going to just see. This is really interesting. I'm just not 100% sure where I'm going with this, but I think it definitely is interesting if we could do this in a way like, because that might be overkill. It might be but we can just play with it and see. So, and then you can always, you could see these from the back too. So I'm gonna have to figure out something with that as well. So, but if we bring this here, I guess what you would have to do is kind of hold it in place a little bit. You know, I wonder if that would work. If you're white, let me know if you guys can see me. Okay, I think we're back. Are we back? Let me know if we're back. And this one, what I can do is, yeah, if I just, you'd have to like kind of attach it in there. You know, maybe I would even do this in separate sections. If I cut this, I'm just going to try it. I'm just playing. We're back. Yay. Sorry about that. That might be my Wi-Fi. I'm not sure. So like, say we just did this in sections like that, and then just poke this to the back. Just trying to do it in a way that's, you know, not too complicated. Because sometimes when the wire is too long, yeah, I guess I could have actually gone through there and pulled it to the front again. That might have worked well. So let me just bring this one to the back for now. Okay, I'm just going to bring that one to the back for now. Because that's another possibility. Like, say you just bring this in here. I think it might be overkill, but that's okay because I can definitely remove it after. So say we go here right here and then I'm just going to do some twists like this I think you can just be very very whimsical with this and if it doesn't work it's fine but I'm saving you guys the trouble of trying it because we'll just see how it works so say we do something like that it's definitely wild and crazy but that's okay so we're going to bring this one in here bring that one down to the back We'll figure that one out after. And then this one, like you'll probably want to like bend it around so it's going to stay in place. Like find a way for it to stay. And then this one, we can just start bending it around a little bit. So we're going to bring that one around. And then maybe this one a little bit here. And like I said, if it doesn't work, we'll just remove the whole thing. It's fine. I'm just trying to like make it a little more integrated with the background. I think that's more what I'm trying to do. And uh, and you can always pull it back, so that's fine. So we're just gonna go around here. Yeah, just around here a little bit. And then I wanna make sure I have enough for the last edge. So yeah, if you wanna do spirals, you have to cut your wire quite long. And then we're just gonna bring it through here, tuck it in, bring it right through there and that we can adjust after. And then this one too, like if you kind of do a loop around, it seems to stay okay. So we're just gonna do some winding, maybe go around a couple of times. And then this one here, a couple of times. Yeah, it really depends on how much wire you've cut. So, and then here, it's gonna be really wingy, but it's fine. We're just gonna see how it goes around here. I always like to put my own spin on things, so this is something different. So we're just gonna cut this and trim that and then bring this one to the top over here, maybe to the back, to the front, okay, around here. So we're just gonna cut that. And then these ones, I should have just done like a long wire for these ones, but because I wasn't sure where I was going with it. So these are like two little extra pieces at the back. So we're just gonna, I think we can just, if you pull it tight, we can just trim it. So we're just gonna pretend that was one continuous piece here. And then this one too, we can just kind of pull that through the back here. And I'm just gonna pull that a little bit and then just bring it here. So it's a little wonky there, but that's fine. So now this came off, so I'm gonna have to fix that, but so, wow, this is wild and crazy, guys. <laughs> you could hang some flower charms and beads. Yes, that would be cool. Ooh, I like that idea for it to be like a, a, a vine. Yes, I really like that idea. So, yeah, I think so. Next time I would make these back wires more smooth. 
Uh, but this is interesting. I'm going to keep it because it's interesting. And we're just going to bring this one down here. And so, you, yeah, I like the idea of vines. That would be super cool around the outside. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the possibilities are endless. So let's just reattach the, the dragonfly. And I prefer simpler frame. Yeah, so it's different folks, uh, different strokes for different folks. And, but this at least gives you guys the idea of what's possible. And that's my intention with these uh, live streams is it's not necessarily the finished product that you would make. But if it can give you an idea to do your own thing, that's awesome. So this is this is uh, the project on steroids. So if you want to like tone it down a bit, you definitely you definitely could. Oh, and I put this one upside down, so that wasn't too smart. So let me flip let me flip this over. So we're just going to take this out and put it the right way around. So we're just going to pull this back a little bit. And like I said, the jump ring is not the best because it's made out of a very soft wire, but you could definitely um, do your own thing, like get a get a pre-made jump ring or make it, you do it with a thicker wire or something. So there we go. So here is, wow, inspired by Amanda. And Becca, thank you for the suggestion for the dragonfly. So it's cool. Yeah, teamwork. And that's what it's all about. It's It's the teamwork. So... Hand, hand one of those tiny live plants. Ooh, put a really live plant on there. That would be amazing. Oh my goodness. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and try a little one. So number one looks all right. Good, looks, looks beautiful. Thanks, thanks, Amon. Awesome. Taking a sip. So what I did yesterday, I cut these two little pieces of glass. Let me, let me remove this one for now. And I tried to paint on them with the acrylic ink. Unfortunately, I just turned into a disaster. They just didn't work. It didn't stick or anything. And so um, I cut this just with a glass cutter. Uh, I'll probably put a mini tutorial for it on the art channel to show you how I did this. And then I have a, a Dremel with a little file. So I filed the edges so they're soft. But I used the paint. Unfortunately, I scratched it here with the Dremel. That happens. But this is like really experimental. So um, I have these two pieces. So what I was thinking was to put a picture, painted picture in between, kind of like we what we did with the Cali decoration uh, for um, Amber a while back with her doggy. Uh, so I did a tutorial on how to cut plexiglass and put a picture in between. So this is actual glass. Uh, the plexiglass, I cut a circle, which was really cool. So, um, hey, Kat, how are you doing? Kat, we just did a little frame. I'll just show you quickly. So we just did this frame with the mixed media art. And now I'm going to cut a piece. I'm going to take a detail. Because the paint didn't work well on the glass, I'm going to get a cut a detail from one of these and put it under the glass. So these are abstract ones I made with the acrylic inks. And so I, what, I, what is really fun to do with art is just you can crop images to create your own cool image. So like we could take any area of this painting and make a uh, pendant out of it. So like this is really interesting what's going on there. So we could actually just stick that on there and cut it out. Or there's other ones, like there's this one that's a little darker, which actually has a little more gold. This one doesn't have much gold on it. So we could go on here and take some little pieces from it too. Although this one I find, I'm not sure about this one. This one's a little darker. But maybe because I'm going to try silver this time, why don't I just go ahead and cut a funky piece from this area? So what we're going to do is get my X-Acto knife again. And I want to make sure these are more or less like the same size-ish. It's okay if it doesn't quite, if it goes like inside a little bit. This one actually has a little bit of gold paint still on the, I think it's actually scratched though, but that's fine. We're just gonna do that. So let's go ahead and then just decide how we want it to look. You know, there's all kinds of ways you can do it. So let's just say, let's just say I like it like this. Then I have a little bit of each color. And then what I can do is just cut it. I'm not gonna cut it right through yet because um, I'm gonna cut through my paper here, but you can just go ahead you can trace it first with a 
pencil if you want, or you can just cut it directly with the X-Acto knife. So if we're just going to go like that, okay. And then because I have my lines showing, let's just cut it up. Looks like a sunset. Yeah, there's all, that's what I love about abstract art is you can just find so many beautiful imagery and things in, in like just make a big abstract piece and then you can find all kinds of things in it. Like look how just one little piece of the work looks beautiful. You can make like bookmarks with sections of your, of your um, paintings. There's all kinds of things you can do. Like often I'll take an old painting and I'll just upcycle it. I'll do different things with it and it's really cool that way. You just cut the bunny head off that you could use. Was there a bunny head? I missed the bunny head. And sometimes when you see images, you can't unsee them. And that sometimes is unfortunate. Like if you have an abstract image and you see something in it, but you don't really like that image, it's really hard to unsee them. The large strip is a lady. I saw that, that totally looks like a woman. And uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, see, it's just, you could just spend all day look at, you know, looking at, abstract art and finding all kinds of cool things in it. So um, that's the beauty of it. So here's some little, little, little art pieces I could do something with later. And then what I wanted to do is just stick this in the frame with the glass. Now this one's more scratch. So I think I'll put that one at the back. Okay. And like I'm saying, guys, this is like really, you know, not perfect because the glass isn't cut perfectly the um it's it's you know reused so it's a little scratchy and stuff but it's okay ha there's also a cat see that's so fun we could just spend an hour looking at abstract stuff and finding images like seeing images in the clouds right so now let's go ahead and get the silver to see what we can do with the silver i mean it might look good and better in gold but because i just have this stuff and i want to try it Let's go ahead. So this is the project tape. I probably should save that label in case you guys want to know what it is. So I'll just save the label there and then we're going to open this up. So what's the difference between acrylic ink and acrylic paint? So acrylic ink is very liquidy. Um, I actually did a little mini, not a tutorial, but I did my last video on my art channel is um, about sh uh, painting with shaving cream and I, I compared um, watercolor ink with acrylic ink with acrylic paint so acrylic ink is just very liquidy but it's still more opaque than watercolor ink and uh, what kind of paper so you can use watercolor paper and acrylic ink you probably can even use it on canvas I haven't tried it before but it would stick better to canvas than like watercolor paint you can't put on canvas unless it's being treated with a different ground they do sell watercolor canvases that already that have been treated with an absorbent ground but um yeah acrylic ink uh, you could use on a lot of different surfaces a lot of them a lot of people use them on boards which is really cool as well so i have to get some wax paper so i can actually cut this uh, tape so i'll go get that And I also have a, a tray. I don't want to cut my table. So I have a tray here. And I'll just put the tray on here. This is one of those cafeteria trays. And then I'll get my wax paper. And we're just going to try to trim the, um, the tape. And hopefully it's not, not going to stick to this. So let's just see. We're going to put this here. Okay. And now I'm going to take some tape. I guess that's the, the right side and I find it too thick for a small piece like that I'm just not sure how um, thin I can, should make it so I'm gonna try half and see if it's going to work so why don't I just like make sure yeah so let's just try half for now I'm just gonna cut this a little bit and see if it's going to be a good choice so if we just cut this and you might be able to buy thinner tape like this. I just, I'm not sure because I've just discovered it. So I really don't know if you can get it thinner. So now what we're going to do is take this here. I don't know, let me know if, if my screen is blurry. I find it a little bit blurry. I'm not sure why it's so blurry today, but uh, okay. Very 
interesting. I haven't used alcohol inks. Yes, they're alcohol, alcohol inks are really, really fun. And yeah, so I have a tutorial on the art channel and then there's lots of tutor tutorials on YouTube for alcohol inks as well. So if we wanna like kind of find the middle point, I don't know if this is gonna be the right uh, width or not, but we're just gonna try it. And then you want this to be like kind of centered. You can also buy copper foil tape, but the trouble with copper foil tape, it does tarnish and change color. So this stuff should be good though. So now let's remove the one piece and see if it's going to be big enough. And if not, we're going to have to adjust a little bit. So here's these two pieces, these ones here. We're just going to, and my glass is not cut evenly by any means. So we're just gonna see what we can do. We're just gonna get that in there and put this one here, somewhat square, somewhat even. And then if we put this one here, I'm a little worried it's gonna be too thin. So let's just try it. If we put that one there and bring this one to the back. Yeah, see it is too thin. So half is not good enough. Uh, so let's just go ahead and not cut it out at all and see what happens. So yeah, half is definitely too thin. So let's just do this. Make sure that's centered. And then bring this so it's like a bit of a quarter inch type of thing. Yeah, these, like I said, my glass is not well, well um, cut at all. It's not super even. Uh, let's see if that's somewhat even. Okay, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose a lot of the, we're gonna lose a lot of the image when it's so small, but this is, you know, how you discover. I used to do this with, um, copper foil but I would solder on top of it so that was that was interesting and um, had a nice effect and then you could just polish up the the part that was soldered around the outside so like this is like really really thick but you know what it doesn't really matter because the back is not going to really show so let's just go ahead and do that okay yeah, the back isn't going to show, so we're just going to do, whoa, look at it flipped up like that. So this might or might not be successful. We're going to check and see, make sure I get this one cut long enough. Yeah, so I need I need a few more hands to do this. I'll just cut the whole piece, or just I'll just cut a little bit of it. There we go. Yeah, if, we, if I had two sets of hands, it probably would be better. Yeah, the rainbow color is nice too, eh? The, the acrylic inks are great for that, that they're very, very vibrant. So that's what I love about them. The colors are beautiful. Okay, so let's just try this one. See, that's, bring it over a little bit. It's very hard to get it like centered properly. That one's not too bad. So as long as we get it like secured in two places, it's gonna be a little bit easier. And this, this tape seems pretty, pretty good like seems pretty sticky I don't know if you guys know of a better tape let me know but this seems pretty good and it's nice and metallic so we're gonna just get this one here hey Verdella how are you yeah we're just uh, getting towards the end here but we're um, we're having fun with it and I'll show you the project we did uh, before this one so yeah so this I think I put it on a little bit crooked too so this is just so far, we're gonna do this. I think this tape is really great for the ornament, but I'm not 100% convinced how good it's gonna be for a necklace, but we're gonna see, see what it does. And then just do this one too. It's a little bit tricky to trim, plus my X-Acto knife is right at the end, so it's not super great, but let's just trim it as best as we can. And let's see if these are all, maybe this one too, a little more. You could even get your scissors and trim it a little bit more like that. Okay, so there's the two sides. They're not super even, but uh, we're gonna see what we could do. And then let's get more tape. Perfect. 
How would you hang it? So yes, so now after this, we're gonna have to wrap it similar to how we did the other one. So when I do, when I do these as stained glass, I actually solder on a jump ring. So that's how you hang it when it's actually stained glass. But if you don't, if it's not stained glass, we have to think of a way to do it. And you can always refer to my other a video that I did for Amber with her doggy where we made something like this and um, out of plexiglass and then I wrapped it. I almost did like a kind of a weave type of thing which was really interesting so you could definitely uh, refer to that video as well and um, and see how we put that one together to hang it. So that was really that was a really fun project too. That was a while ago and so now we're just going to do one more here. Make sure it's somewhat even. Oop, pull that over around here. Okay, and then we're gonna pull it around. So yeah, I, I have a feeling there's a better tape to use for this uh, when you're doing a smaller one, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just gonna have to like research it a little bit and see, but certainly for the frame, this one is really great. So yeah, you could definitely use this tape for the for the picture frame. And then for the pendant, we're going to see if I can find something else. Now this one, I just have to fix this up a little bit like that. And just trim this. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I really did not do a very good job uh, trimming it. It doesn't look like super even. But it gives you the idea. I think I prefer the gold as well. Yeah, wire weaving is not really my thing either. So, uh, but a lot of people really love it. So now you have to really like push this stuff down, get it down. And I'm worried about these ends maybe peeling off and stuff. So I'm not sure how great it is for a pendant, but it's not too, it's not too, too bad. So yeah, certainly you can do like a woven frame and stick it around the outside. But um, because I, well, I, so I would need another hour at least to do a live stream with the weaving. So I think for now, I'm just gonna play around with it with a wire and see what happens. So let's just go ahead. I think gold tape would be better, blend better. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I think the gold would be better, but it's fine. I'm just playing with it. So we're just gonna go around here. Let's see what happens if we just try to do something around the corners. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Like say we just did like a few things around the corner. This might end up just being an ornament anyways because I don't think it's going to be super uh, practical as a pendant. I really don't think it's going to be super practical. Let me just play around with some other ideas. And yeah, so if we go from like maybe one corner to the other. We're just gonna play with this. And let me just see if we just do like a corner thing here. And then like a corner here. I'm just gonna see how it works. Uh, corner here and then, whoops, corner here. So I'm just kind of doing like a crisscross thing at the back and then a corner here. Okay, yeah, this tape, I'm not sure if it's gonna hold very well. So if we just do something like this, these we're gonna have to like kind of press down a little bit. Now this one, where was that? Okay, that one's there. So maybe we can go over them again like that. If we go that one and then that one. And then see, I'm just kind of going across the back and around. So that makes like a little double thing there. And then this one too, we should be able to do it. And actually this one, I'm gonna go up here and then around to the back so we can like wind it. So you'll see that little weird crisscross stuff at the back, but it's not too bad. There we go. So yeah, so it's, I mean, it's not great. Thank you, Paula. It's, it's definitely needs some work. But it's just the idea, we're going to keep it simple because 
I don't have time to do a lot of wire weaving, but basically we just kind of crisscrossed over and then put these around the outside. So this would be another way you can do the frame is just like I kind of went over around the corner to the next one around and around and around. So this is if you want a very simple frame, like even for your bigger work, this could definitely be an option. And just for the tape, it's just a matter of like getting it pushed down and stuff. So I'm going to keep this one simple, guys. I'm going to do like a, a little bail at the top to hang it. So let's just do, to make it a little more fancy, we'll just do like kind of a triple, a triple bail thing just to, just to make it look a little prettier. So we're just going to go around a few times here just around like that, just bring it down. See, it looks a little more, it always looks a little more interesting when you have like a triple thing going there. So we're gonna bring this one run around here. Okay, and then this one you can just wind around, okay, as much as you want. And you know, in theory, if you wanted to, you can even just do, you could do like a little, you could do like a little curvy thing on there, or you can also, you know, go around like we did before. You can go around the outside again. If you wanted to kind of cover the tape a little bit, you can definitely like go around and cover the tape a little bit too if you wanted. So we could just go there or maybe just do a few, a little few little things. So there's, there's endless possibilities for this one as well. If you want to just like kind of do a little thing there. So let me know if you like nothing or a little thing. I think I like the little thing there. I wouldn't do too much. I wouldn't overkill it. Sometimes it's nice to do like an odd number of like little curves and stuff. So maybe three, three might be a good like odd number of little curves. So this one ended up looking really circular. I'm not sure why, but sometimes when it's too circular, it bothers your eye. Like it's a little too perfect. So, so if we did something like that, maybe, Okay, and then just found a way to like stick it to the back. I'm just gonna do that, you know, it doesn't really matter. And I'll just, to end it on the back, you would just have to like bring it in here and stick it through something just to hold the end in place. We're just gonna go to the back and uh, where's my little pliers, my little red ones. It's beautiful, Miss Heather. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like the swirls too. It gives it a little, Je ne sais quoi. So there we go. So we're going to stick that, just attach that. Um, yeah, so this one, sky is the limit. Uh, the tape, I'm still on the fence. I have to figure out if it's a good one for the pendant. I guess, you know, if you're just careful with your pendant, you're going to have to like really rub that down. So guys, let's see what we did. So we did the pendant and it's a little wobbly at the back because of all this wire. So that's the other thing. It's a little bit wobbly, but that's okay. So we've got that one. And we have that one, and that's that's it. That's it for today. So huge thank you to Amanda for inspiring the frame. Uh, we went a little nuts with it, but we definitely used her basic idea uh, for the frame. Now this already, guys, I see it's peeling up. So this is gonna have to be, we're gonna have to see, watch this and make sure it doesn't peel up too much. And if it does, I might have to find another tape, but so far it's not too bad. And so, yeah, so I'm gonna flip the, I'm gonna flip the screen, love the pendant as an ornament. Yes, so this could be definitely as an ornament as well. That's it, cool. So let me just flip the screen so I can see you guys' comments. Uh, but -da -but -da, where's my, there we go, perfect. Okay, so thanks guys for watching. That was super fun. And uh, we almost finished at an hour, so that's pretty good. And uh, if, you, if you make one, be sure to share pictures. We have the Discord group and the new section, Heather Boyd Art. You can share pictures of this. And also you can um, check out my other art channel, Heather Boyd Art on YouTube, and I'll show you how to do the inks and stuff. So, oh, let me just check the comment. Could you glue the tape down? You might be able to glue the tape down. That's a great idea for sure. And yeah, if you have any suggestions, if you're watching the replay, be sure to comment uh, below for that. And a thin layer of glue on the tape might work. Yeah, definitely might work. And I'll let you guys know how it does. If it, and I'll ask Amanda if her tape peeled off as well. So we'll see about that. But yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll definitely see you in the Facebook group. And have a great week. Bye, guys.